And we are back once again with Konosuba Fantastic Days. Today we are doing something a little bit different. So I've been wanting to go back and do all the story events that I missed out when the game first started. Since I was just mostly focusing on the story and didn't even know about the events until a little bit later on. So these are the first ones, all the one with the red is the ones that I didn't do. So like six of them right here, and I think a few more on top. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, let's get started with the first ever troll attack. The beautiful priestess of the shore. Yeah, it's two episodes. I'm pretty sure I just watched this one time, like, when I first started scouting the stories to see if I can just make sure if I can watch all the story, like, content. The Beautiful Priestess of the Shore, Part 1. What? Trolls are attacking again. Kazuma, I like to... I, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> what? what? What just happened? So wait, are we actually doing the troll attack? Or are we doing a Brorilla event? I have no idea. That's so weird. It's supposed to be troll attack. Hold on, l let me just redo that just in case i didn't actually catch it i don't think that originally happened when i first came through but it's been like months since i tried this all right let's check it out again <laughs> yeah it's completely wrong trolls are attacking again kazuma I'd like to... But yeah, that's so weird. How is there a... Like, intro for a completely different other event? Like, happening. I don't understand. That's really weird. Oh, well. I Hopefully they fix it. Because I definitely am going to report this to wherever so they can fix it. Because, man, I really wanted the, like, whatever original intro for this event. But I guess we gotta just satisfy with the Brorilla attack. Yada. No. Um, since you've defeated so many trolls, I would ask the fine adventurer Kazuma to take this quest and... No! The last thing I want to do is at the height of the summer is deal with a bunch of fat, sweaty trolls. Yeah, I don't know when this event, like, has taken place in the, like, main story, original story timeline. I don't know if they've even defeated Charlie or Daniel or that has even taken place. Because I know in one of the troll attacks... The trolls mention working for Daniel and Charlie, being like, yeah, the boss wants us to steal the Axo Hearts, or something like that. That is rather unfortunate. I've heard these trolls are after Axo Hearts. Look, that means that Daniel was behind this. Well, since I'm their producer. Yeah, so I don't know if this is like right after Daniel was introduced. And so it's like he has sort of an idea of what Daniel wants. Or if it's like a while in the timeline. And so it means he already knows Daniel like well enough to see that he would send his trolls to try and take the Axel Hearts. Fine, I'll take the job. Thank you so much! The trolls have been sighted near the beach. The beach? The guild will need to provide us with a wagon. 
Wait, please, save a spot for me on that wagon. So this is the first time that Cicely is coming on a quest or an event. I'm guessing they already know Cicely at this point, even though right now in the anime, they haven't even met her. Since I'm pretty sure the game is like a couple of books in the light novel ahead than the anime. Since they already know Iris, Cicely, and probably a bunch of other characters that are not shown as of yet until integrated into the game. But yeah, not, nice to see that Cicely was literally in the first event of the game. Cicely? What are you doing here? I want to help you with this quest. Please take me. It'll be useful to have a priest. After a long wagon ride, the group finally arrived at the beach. Well, here we are. Ah, the shining sun. The sound of crashing waves. Yep. This is summer. Yep, so everyone goes on the quest and the extra character is Cicely. It's so hot. I can't believe I came to the beach dressed like this. We don't have a choice. We're here to kill some trolls. Exactly. We didn't come here for fun. Hey, everybody! Why the long face? Over here, quickly! What's with the swimsuit? Why are you playing in the water? Alright, so this is the first ever free-to-play card. And damn, they went hard with this art, <laughs> like right away. I guess they wanted to have like a sexy card to like attract people into continuing the play of the game. Like, <laughs> it's so funny how Kazuma and Megamine are both unimpressed. I would say probably Megamine for, like, the sex appeal that Cicely has. Like, she looks pretty good. Like, in a swimsuit. And probably because, you know, <laughs> her chest is bigger than Megamine's. Being like, I'm unimpressed. Or, what a lame swimsuit. Or like, we should be working. And Kazuma is just purely... Like, he, he's not attracted to her, apparently. Probably because she's crazy. And he's like, we need to be working. But yeah, overall, this outfit's really basic. I like how it has the Axis Order symbol or logo on her, like, chest bikini. Mm, I guess the one little flare she has is that she has that little armband bracelet thing. And I guess she has like kind of sort of rings or whatever that is in her hair. I don't know if she has another one on the other side. But yeah, it's just basic, but it's very nice. Oh, ho! Are you excited to see me like this? Not at all! I think dumbfounded is a better word for it. Ah, how nice. I wish I brought a swimsuit too. That swimsuit is so shameful. If I were to wear something like that, all the men would... Ah. Let's all have some fun! We can do that after we finish this quest. First, we have to drive off these trolls. So it means would they be playing in their like normal outfits or would they go skinny dipping? But yeah, so you can see a little bit better here. But yeah, she has both like rings or little circle things on both sides of her hair. But yeah, overall, it's a pretty good outfit. Although she's super white. <laughs> like, I don't know if that's because she wears 
very conservative clothes all the time. Yeah, I, I don't know. Something about her is like super pale. Oh, Megamine, you're always so serious. But that is quite endearing. At any rate, are there actually any trolls here? The guild receptionist told me that these trolls are after Axel Hearts, but... But yeah, why would they be here? Like, why wouldn't they be coming towards Axel? Like, they're literally the Axel Hearts, so you would expect to find them in Axel, not in this random beach. Also, the guild receptionist. So, I'm guessing... Luna wasn't named yet at this point? Like, either the game hasn't named her or she wasn't named until, I guess, later books or light novels. And then the game, like, took that and being like, okay, let's just add her name in now. Could this be some kind of mistake? The idea that a group of trolls after Axel Hearts would be here is... Ugh, it's so hot. Alright, let's get a good look at these guys. Ah, oh, man. The troll design is still so weird. Like, Charlie, for looking like a basic troll, looks pretty good. Daniel, being the king troll, has a pretty cool design. But these guys just look dumb. Oh. <sighs> Ain't no way I can work in this heat. You're right. So hot. All right. Let's go swimming again. Whoa. So they are here. But they don't seem to be here for work. Hey, trolls! You can't just hog the whole beach. Like, there's so much beach. And they're deciding to fight with these guys. Well, they were calm. Now they're not. Don't tell me that the trolls are excited by my swimsuit. Yeah, I doubt that. Surprised by Cecily's ignorance, the group prepared to fight as the troll was closed in. Really? They're surprised by Cecily? Like, weird. That kind of seemed like an ending cutscene. Like, I don't know. The, the beginning part... Is like a normal beginning, but that end seems like what they usually do for the epilogue, or like, then the Konosuba battled the creatures, and then boom, you would head straight into the battles. But yeah, unfortunately, we can't do the battles, because that never comes with these stories. But yeah, the beautiful priestess of the shore, part two. The beautiful priestess of the shore part two Ark. that takes care of that <laughs> now do you understand my powers as a goddess you truly are the goddess of water lady aqua indeed i am i'm glad you finally seen the light so wait, is this the first time that Cecily is believing Goddess is actually a god? Because I thought they would have already, like, gone through that in the main, like, light novels, manga, like, anime storyline. Now, since it's barely getting there with Season 3, of course they haven't gotten there in the anime. Yeah, I thought this would have been established already in the main story. Not in this, like, side event. She gets awfully full of herself when she's finally treated like a goddess. 
Hey, Kazuma. Cecily seems to be obsessed with Aqua. Is it safe to leave them together? Oh, and so this is the first time they're actually worrying about Aqua and Cecily's relationship? Like, you think through all the events together that the Aqua and Cecily have been in, you think they would have brought this up more? Yeah, Aqua really seems to think that she's a goddess. Shouldn't we tell her the truth? Wait, tell Aqua or tell Cecily? Hmm, maybe. Okay, nature's beauty. Still looks like pee. Wow, how amazing. This truly is blessed holy water of a goddess. Well, I don't see any harm in it. No reason not to let them be. I suppose that's true. If she knew Aqua wasn't a goddess, Cecily might pester us to join the Order of Axis instead. Hmm. As a follower of Eris, I'm more interested in what insults she might hurl at me. Just the thought of it is exciting! It's safe to say, you're not the only one who thinks that. I don't understand. Is Megamine thinking of that? Or is she thinking... Or is he thinking what insults it would hurl at him? Like, I, don't, I really don't know what Kazuma's train of thought is in this. Well, we did what we came to do. So let's go home. Wait! We came all the way to the beach, and you want to go back already? You shall face the wrath of the goddess of water! Isn't that right, Lady Aqua? Huh? Oh, I don't really mind. It's hot here, and I don't have a swimsuit. That's no problem at all. Hold on. Okay, just wrap the seaweed on yourself, and you've got yourself a swimsuit. Um, you can't make a proper swimsuit out of something like that! You too, Darkness. Take off that heavy armor. Stop that! Wrapping one's body in that slimy stuff is unbecoming of a knight! So wait, is Darkness becoming overpowered by Cicely? Yeah, I, I don't understand what's going on. Cicely is overpowering most of them. Seaweed swimsuits. That's actually not the worst idea. Also, why haven't they made a card of that? They made the girls in towels, they made the girls in bikinis, but yet they haven't put the... Like, sexy seaweed swimsuits or whatever. I don't know about all that, but I'm interested in seeing more. <laughs> yeah, of course he's being perverted. So it means, I guess, seeing, like, darkness. He usually is not interested in Aqua or Megamine. It's nice and cool in the water. Going swimming is a summertime tradition. We can swim all day and then fish when we're tired. Kazuma, you can use the tinder skill, right? We can cook the fish we catch. Then we'll sing songs by the campfire. It'll be lovely. Aw, she's just so happy. Well, swimsuits aside, the rest of that does sound fun. I know, right? This will be a memory we'll never forget. And in the end, you can sign up to join my faith. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. We have to get back and report on the quest. 
What? You have to join. The application for the Order of Access that Cecily attached in the sand washed away before anyone read it. Okay, I don't really know how that makes sense. So... She put a application in the sand for some random person to grab? Like, what does it mean, attached to the sand? Like, I don't even know if this is a spelling translation error or something. Alright, so yeah, that's the first ever event in Konosuba Fantastic Days. There wasn't as many spelling or translation errors back then, because I remember like the game switching hands from one company to another that was publishing this game. I think after the switch is when we started to get all of the translation errors and spelling errors. So this story for the most part is good and probably the first few ones that I do. But yeah, aside from that one little weird glitch where for some weird reason the Brorilla attack intro plays instead of the troll attack. Well anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the first ever event in Konosuba Fantastic Days. Troll Attack. The beautiful priestess of the shore. If you guys did, please make sure to follow me on all my social medias, like my Twitter, my Twitch, my YouTube, my DLive, my TikTok, my Kick, Rumble, Odyssey, and Daily Motion. Make sure to check out my second YouTube channel and like and comment on all my videos, and even join my Discord. There you can stay up to date with everything I choose to do or my streams, videos, or anything else. But yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.